Hey guys, Jeffrey here from Comfort Bible Reading with your daily Bible upload. I want to thank you for joining us today and I hope you have a blessed day. We will be reading from the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 6 from the NIV. In chapter 6 we will be reading about Paul's hardship and discipleship to the Corinthians and warning against idolatry. I hope you all will be joining us for chapter 7. If you are finding value from this, please like to help share the message and let me know what you think of my video in the comments below. As God's co-workers, we urge you not to receive God's grace in vain. For he says, In the time of my favor I heard you, and in the day of my salvation I helped you. I tell you now is the time of God's favor. Now is the day of salvation. We put no stumbling block in anyone's path so that our ministry will not be discredited. Rather, as a servant of God, we commend ourselves in every way, in great endurance, in troubles, hardships, and distresses, in beatings, imprisonment, and riots, in hard work, sleepless nights, and hunger, in purity, understanding, patience, and kindness in the Holy Spirit, and in sincere love, in truthful speech, and in the power of God, with weapons of righteousness in the right hand and in the left, through glory and dishonor, bad report and good report, genuine yet regarded as impostors, known yet regarded as unknown, dying and yet we live on, beaten and yet not killed, sorrowful yet always rejoicing, poor yet making many rich, having nothing and yet possessing everything. We have spoken freely to you, Corinthians, and open wide our hearts to you. We are not withholding our affection from you, but you are withholding yours from us. As a fair exchange, I speak as to my children. Open wide your hearts also. Do not be yoked together with unbelievers. For what do righteousness and wickedness have in common? Or what fellowship can light have with darkness? What harmony is there between Christ and Belial? Or what does a believer have in common with an unbeliever? What agreement is there between the temple of God and idols? For we are the temple of the living God. God, as God has said, I will live with them and walk among them, and I will be their God, and they will be my people. Therefore come out of them and be separate, says the Lord. Touch no unclean things, and I will receive you. I will be a father to you, and you will be my sons and daughters, says the Lord Almighty. Thank you all for joining us today. I hope you all have a great day. I look forward to seeing you all again tomorrow. Blessings.